Oh, good morning, folks. <laughs> it's a cold one. So I'm having to improvise with my sleeping bag. Let's go for a bit of a vigorous walk along these stones, I think, just to get warmed up. Welcome to day three of my tour to Wales, summer 2021. Might as well keep on looking ridiculous until that sun comes up. Show you today's route and probably bring a flashy graphic up on the screen as well. So I'm heading on day three, today's Monday, I'm heading to Sir Moor camping site, which is, well, is 217 kilometers away. Plus, I've uh, got to continue up the hill. I actually said yesterday I've got to go, I'll be going down the hill, but actually going up the hill to comp to keep on route. So it's a little bit longer than 217. It's 2,397 meters. Estimated time, nine hours and 36 minutes. So once I've had all the breaks, and things like that, uh, it's half six now, I'll probably leave here about half eight, uh, half eight, about eight o'clock, got an hour and a half just to get moving and get warmed up and stuff. Uh, you know, arrive there same sort of time. Checking time at that campsite is, is any time between 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. So they're obviously not bothered. Despite it being 2,300 meters, it looks relatively flat. So there's a few choice bumps and towards the end of it. It's always towards the end, isn't it? So I'm just about to get a coffee, have some porridge, start getting packed away. Just show you a, off in the distance. Hopefully, you can zoom in close enough. Some wild horses there, a couple of black ones and some brown ones just over on the next hill, just there. The road's off down over there, and it runs all the way through the middle there. So, as you can see, there's plenty of wild camping spots around here enjoy this coffee get warmed up hopefully watch that sun break through the clouds Sun has arisen, new day begins. I don't want to leave. Wow, what a beautiful sight on a Monday morning. It's the sound of sheep, wild horses everywhere look. Beautiful, wondrous Welsh mountains off in the distance. They've come to see me. Hello. He'll be coming off the mountain when he comes. He'll be coming off the mountain when he comes. It's cold at all now. My arms are out. My legs are out. Ready for the day ahead. Just got to switch my shoes. And I'm good. I went past a burger van, but no, no, I keep going too early. And as I went past it, I 
I've got this whiff of bacon and sausage and egg and I was like, I'll turn around. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful it was. Just what I needed, get me going. I sometimes underestimate how much you need to eat, so that's my excuse. Anyway, I'm off the route at the moment. I'm just heading west, and I think it's the route 46. So I'm following, I'm going around Rigas Mountain, which is behind me and left. And at some point I'm gonna hit the route, my original route, and head south to Swansea. It's been great along here though. All the way on my right, been flanked by tall mountain peaks. It's been great. This particular road on is a little bit like following the A1 Great North Road in England. In that, just off to the left, is a, a major sort of dual carriageway where everybody joins onto the bottom of the valley. And then steep to the side here is the old road. That's why I love Wales. Because you do have lots of roads like this. The main dual carriageways that people stick to. Also a good thing about here, even though it offers no protection, they keep having like cycle markers on the road, which I think works great as a bit of a reminder to motorists that, you know, we do exist. On my way, Joe Swansea. Science coming up. Now I had to go down a little bit of the dual carriageway because you know, they always do all this amazing, amazing in quotes, cycle infrastructure, but they forget to put drop curves in so you can get onto in the first place. <laughs> so I was going along the dual carriageway until I finally hit one. Woohoo! Right, get to the coast and stop because they ain't got no water. Look, this bridge coming up. I tell you, it's taken a while to actually reach the coast. It's Swansea. Presumably, it's a beach or something. Reach Swansea. And I've reached no water. Let's go get some. Oh, beef eater. I thought they died in the 80s. On the beach, check that out. Wow, big impressive building there as well. Day three going well. Let's build up the coastline now. All this moss land taken over from the uh, probably what was once a beach, I'm guessing. Hope you've been enjoying these videos so far. However, I have decided to put them up. I don't know. Have I been cutting them up day by day? <laughs> Wild horses! <laughs> Look at this place, is stunning. It's off the route. Avoiding the main road, just followed the uh, cycling, but love it this. <sighs> Afternoon. I feel like I'm in the Canaries. Wow, look at this housing. All these balconies. Oh, jealous. And that's the view they're enjoying. Wow. Let's have a look backwards over there. I think behind me, the second one I've seen now, and I think it's something to do with the uh, Meridian line. There's at least two that cross over the UK, isn't there? I'm sure there is. So there, it could just mark the park and the coastline, the beautiful coastline. I'm actually stood above a railway track, actually. There's a track all the way down there. So she runs through here, underneath there, and under the hedges. 
Well, I discovered I've still got 80 k to go. 20 past four in the afternoon. I've got some work to do. Very well on camera, I never do. But there was a plus 20% climb back there, and uh, yeah, it got me. It didn't help that there was a car behind me. Dead patient, I think, but you know, it's in the back of your mind, you're thinking, bloody hell, car following me, great. Yeah, and there wasn't much space for ducking and diving on these roads either, not very wide. Oh well, we can't win them all. If you do a bit of cycle touring, don't put a long ass climb right near the end of your ride. 15 kilometers to go. 20 to nine. Me to make sure I get there with some time to spare to perhaps look for somewhere to eat. Uh, checked in at over a uh, petrol station earlier. And then of course, got to get set up as well. So I actually went to the Texaco garage on the A40 and got some Uncle Ben's rice again. Some four, got four custard donuts, Mars bar protein drink, and a big pack of Monster Munch. I kind of stopped there really, thinking somewhere might be open a little bit closer. What I might do in the morning actually, Maybe the plan for tomorrow is try, 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 get up early. Not too early though, but early enough that I can get to cafe, ca a cafe right on opening time and have a breakfast somewhere. So again, just to wrap that up, the end of a ride or close to the end of the ride, don't put a long ass climb in there. At the end of this bastard hill is the campsite. Here I am. Ten to ten. Put it in the tent up. Oh. 